most painful videos you could see. Uh, people crying. Uh, Ugandans being denied a chance to re-enter their country. Others being denied a chance to go for opportunities uh, which they've strived to get. Because someone wants something small put in their pocket. And also, I saw a very sad story uh, of uh, a certain national who was also, uh, it was in Monitor, uh, who was also allowed in to exit the country, I think was on a blacklist. Very, very shocking stories, very painful. Most of them, very, very painful. And we, and uh, I'm happy a civil aviation authority has admitted to most of them. But you see, in the reports which we've seen in the media, they are saying dismissed, dismissed. But these are criminals. These are criminals. You dismiss today, they go and get a job in another place. You know, and they continue with that kind of habit. Uh, so I need a joint statement from the Minister of Works, who supervises the Civil Aviation Authority, and the Minister for Internal Affairs, because most of the cases were to do with immigration officers. And the Minister for Works is the one who will take the lead in presenting the statement as the overall. So on Tuesday uh, next week, uh, this statement should be given priority. On the order paper so that we look into this issue. And of course, the concern I had in other countries, you know, when you go to other countries, the people manning immigration centers are usually people from either police, or, but when you pick strangers from nowhere who don't know that charging a criminal $5,000 and he enters into a country and bombs you know, like a school or a church or a public place, you end up losing much more. So, uh, Honorable uh, Chief Whip, please uh, coordinate with the Minister to ensure this comes.